Hello, my little friends. Um, I'm here to read you another book from my childhood. I'm like on a childhood book spree. This one is another one that I had been looking for, but I couldn't remember the name of it for a very long time. But this is the name of it. And this is a new book. They still produce this book. It's called The Giant Jam Sandwich. And it is a really good book. All right. The Giant Jam Sandwich, Story and Pictures by John Vernon Lord with Verses by Janet Burroway. Ooh, giant jam sandwich. For Alexander and Jonathan. <clears throat> One hot summer in itching down, four million wasps flew into town. They drove the picnickers away. They chased the farmers from their hay. There's the picnickers, farmers. Can't get him, he's not happy. They stung Lord Swell on his fat bald pate. They dived and hummed and buzzed and ate. On his bald pate. His bald pate is the top of his head. Look at that fancy house. That's Lord Swell. All right. And the noisy, nasty nuisance grew till the villagers cried, what can we do? Look, they're trying to catch them. Look at this guy. He's like, da -da 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 -da. fly swatter. So they called a meeting in the village hall and Mayor Muddlenut asked them all, what can they do? And they said, good question, but nobody had a good suggestion. There's their meeting. And guess who attended their meeting? Wasps. So this illustration is really cool because look, it starts off in color and the farther you get to the back, it goes to black and white. I think that's a really interesting choice that the artist made there. Love it. Then Bap the baker leapt to his feet and cried, What do wasps like best to eat? Strawberry jam. Now wait a minute. If we made a giant sandwich, we could trap them in it. There's Bap the baker. There are some more townspeople. The gentlemen cheered and the ladies squealed, and Farmer Seed said, use my field. Look at that big giant hat and those fancy shoes. I remember him, he was getting chased by wasps earlier. Bap gave instructions for the making of the dough. Mix flour from above and yeast from below. Salt from the seaside, water from the spout. Now thump it, bump it, and bang it about. While they were working and working hard, some more made a tablecloth out in the yard. So there's, you can see, there's, she's, they're putting salt and maybe yeast. Flour, they're kneading it. Right there, look at that water. You can see the fancy things going on over there. Look at how many people are on that ladder. That is very dangerous. And then you can see though these people are sewing a tablecloth out here. And guess who else is here? Wasps. All right. When they were done, the dough was left to rise till the loaf was a mountain in shape and size. They hitched it up with a bit of fuss to tractors and cars and the village bus, and they and took it to the oven they had made on the hill. 50 cookers in an old brick mill. Look at this illustration. Usually I will go from this side to this side, but I'm gonna go from this side to this side. So you can see there is the place where they're gonna cook it. You can see all the cookers, cook ovens. You can see all of these 
and people watching you can see wasps i really love the way these buildings are drawn you can see all of the buses and the track the bus the cars a tractor the truck and then pulling the loaf of bread For hours and hours they let it cook. It swelled inside till the windows shook. It was piping hot when they took it out and the villagers raised a mighty shout. Isn't it crusty? Aren't we clever? But the wasps were just as bad as ever. You can see it's starting to come out. They're so excited. all the steam coming out of the windows oh there's the wasps look at them he's swatting his own booty the loaf was left to cool and then the people watched while six strong men took a great big saw and sliced right through everyone clapped and they cut slice too You can see that they used one of those giant like push-pull saws and they're up on scaffolding. You can see more people watching. Look at this guy's real excited. You can see all the crumbs coming out. That's an interesting artistic choice here. I think that looks awesome. Look at her fancy hat. more wasps. You can see the birds have already started to eat it. We tied that slice down. Okay. The village bus, they all agreed, would spoil the fields of farmer seed. So eight fine horses pulled the bread to where the picnic cloth was spread. So there's the picnic cloth. There's a little photographer right there. It's a, it's a guy leading the parade. There's the horses. And then there's Farmer Seed sitting on a chair directing. People watching from the little turret. Guess what else is here? Wasps. Let's see. Such a cool illustration. All right. A truck drew up and dumped out butter, and they spread it out with a flap and a flutter. Spoons and spades slap and slam, and they did the same with the strawberry jam. So you can see here again, people are just, some people are bringing just little jars of jam. The wasp are there, this guy has brought a shovel, wooden spoon. There's a person with butter, and then look at all of that jam. And they're spreading out the butter. <laughs> Farmer Seed's on there with his tractor. Look at these people. Baker's still in black and white. So cool. All right. And meanwhile, high above the field, six flying machines whirred and wheeled, ready for the wasps to take the bait. And then there was nothing to do but wait. Oh, we've got some really cool helicopters and you can see there is the jam sandwich there's the baker yelling something an animal all the wasps and look at he's got a tractor with the thing and also balloons and then there's that's the bread awesome and suddenly the sky was humming. All four million wasps were coming. They smelled the jam, they dived and struck. They ate so much that they all got stuck. Whoa. The other slice came down, ker splat on top of the wasps. And that was that. There were only three that got away. And where they are now, I cannot say. Look at that one. Amazing. It's such a cute little tractor. But they never came back to Itching Down, which was not a waspish sort of town, but a very nice place to dance and play. And that's what the villagers did that day. 
one of the best illustrations in the book. Okay, starts over here. Look how happy they are. Really long beard guy. Look at how beautiful these houses are drawn. Then there's the band, the dancers you can see over here. A little late, someone pushing a stroller. Dancer, look at the beautiful, look at this dress, it's so pretty. All of the movement. So beautiful. And then look, you can see right over here what's happening to that. And then it looks like they're distributing this big loaf of bread amongst the town people. <coughs> Excuse me. What became of the sandwich? Well, in itching down, they like to tell how birds flew off with it in their beaks and had a feast for hundreds of weeks. <coughs> There we go. Look at how beautiful that drawing is. And that's the story. That's the giant jam sandwich. Isn't it great? The illustrations are so fun. And I just, yeah, you should definitely go back and pause on the pictures because they're so cool. And I hope that you liked this book that I have loved. And it's a book that I always would be like, do you remember that book? And then I would be like, was this real? Was this a real book? But it was a real book. And now you've seen it too. Okay. I love you.